How we doing, everyone? My name is Michael Warden, and if you're new here, I gotta say, it's a pleasure to meet you. Now, if it seems like as if I may have put a halt to this whole let's animate together, let's get better together because of a uh, because of my one amazing you know stop motion project that I put together, and come to find out that I needed some room of improvement then yes i did put a, a halt to it but that's because of well um see this set see this box see this instruction booklet because of that set i decided to put this whole animation series that i wanted to put together to a halt now this video here what i'm going to be discussing is to my thoughts and well it's not it shouldn't be my opinion or anything it it is it's in a very important aspect of stop motion and that is frame rate. Now, when it comes to doing any kind of animation, not just stop motion, you know, drawing cartoon animation to CGI and anything, knowing what frame rate you're at is very important to know because if you think, oh, here's this scene I did, it's, it's, it's a minute long, and then come to, you know, download the file and you look at it and it's only 10 seconds and it seems pushed, then you're like, well, where did I go wrong? And with my very first ever brick, my very first ever story driven brick film that I made, I thought in my head, I'm doing something amazing. As I'm writing it down, I thought, oh, it's going to be roughly about, you know, three to five minutes and it's going to be high action and stuff. And of course, I'm here I am doing all the work. And then, and then, and then eventually I go to put all the video files together and all of a sudden I'm like, it's only 90 seconds. I'm like, oh my gosh. And that was one of the many things that I, that I like learned w when I saw it. It was, that was like one of my learning moments. I'm like, man. And I thought, okay, so where did I go wrong? And it felt rushed and it felt pushed. So one of the things I noticed was if if you want let's say like you have a scene that you have a desire to animate and your desired amount of time that you want is like roughly a minute let's say you there's this high action scene that you want for like that you want to last like a minute and let's say for most people i think if they do high action or something like that I think they would go for like 15 frames per second, you know, say they're doing like a fight scene. I think they will go for 15 frames per second in regards to stop motion, especially in brick films. They'll go for 15 frames per second. And, and, if, they're, and if they're going for a minute long, which is right here, right here, you're looking at, you need to at least have 900 frames within that scene. And I also went based off, as you can tell, I went from zero frames, which is pointless nonetheless, down to 30 frames, which Stop Motion Studio, which is what I'm going to be using, goes up to 30. Now, I know, I think Dragon Frame has, a, has an option for this, but you could go for like 29.97 because that's what's actually going on on the screen. But I, I don't know. Yeah, that, that, that's what I wanted to go over. And obviously, I hope what I'm going to do here and what I hope is going to help is this, what you see here, I did in a, in a reference of 60 seconds, 45 seconds, and 15 seconds. And then I didn't really waste my time with the zero seconds because zero times anything is zero. I'm going to put this in my description for your copy and paste you know, needs and wants. I'm also going to put this, make this as a pinned comment, which I don't know how to do, but I will learn as I, as I upload this video. And uh, yeah, I hope that this here serves as a reference. You copy and paste and use it, and I hope it helps you out. With all that being done and said, I hope that huge, you know, list of numbers and stuff th that I made is, is useful to you. And like I said, I do believe you can copy and paste everything within the description. And as of the recording of this video, I don't know how to make a pinned comment, but 
as the video comes out, I will get that figured out. You will see it as a pinned comment and maybe it, it will, not maybe, it will be more easy for you to copy and paste it there. And I hope it copy and pastes in a, in a nice stacked form as you see it. Or if you, or if you don't want to copy and paste it and just come back to this video just to look at the, at the nifty little list that I made, then you can do that too. But other than that, that's, gonna, that's what I'm going to cover here. Um, I'm probably more than likely going to get this video out before I work on my next video. And uh, yeah, so with that, I'm out of here. So see ya.